The Vatican has been plagued with a lot of issues. The church's horrific legacy of sexual abuse being the biggest. Pope Benedict XVI chose to end his six-year-old silence with the release of an outspoken letter on the clergy sexual abuse scandal. In the letter, Benedict blames the epidemic of clergy sexual abuse largely on a collapse of moral standards in the 1960s and the subsequent failure of the Catholic leaders to uphold traditional teachings of the church. He goes on to blame, quote-unquote, homosexual cliques in the Catholic seminaries. So to put that in context, the former Pope is basically blaming the era of the 60s that saw sexual awakening among the masses and the gays. Pope Francis, on the other hand, has argued that the abuse crisis is basically due to the clergy considering themselves superior than the people they serve and abusing their authority. The lack of accountability is also another reason the current Pope contributes to the growing epidemic. Apologies don't really go far enough and there needs to be accountability. People need to answer questions, they need to stand up responsible for their actions. We want to see a complete separation of church and state. We apparently have it in our constitution, but it's not really there. Maybe the church has forgotten, but we don't forget and will never forget. Unlike his predecessor, Pope Francis is known to have a more tolerant view of homosexuality. The Catholic Church has been driven by a dangerous power contest between the conservatives and the liberals. Pope Francis has been more determined in the exercise of his office compared to the former Pope. Pope Francis's tolerant and liberal views on many global issues has clearly not gone down well with the conservatives. His advocacy for refugees, his opinion on saving the environment, his support for the LGBTQ community has outraged the conservatives. When he retired, Pope Benedict was expected to disappear from view, clearing the way for his liberal successor Pope Francis to clean house in the notoriously corrupt Vatican. Instead, Benedict stayed, still accepting the title His Holiness, still wearing the pectoral cross of the Bishop of Rome, still meeting cardinals, still making statements and still involved. His very existence, it seems, is an encouragement to the conservative critics who want to undermine Pope Francis's reign. Bureau Report, Leon, World is Bond.